Welcome to the ME Express video upload program. Before you begin the video upload process, grab the email confirmation of your ME entry submission. There are three important pieces of information here. First, take a look at the four links at the bottom of the page. One to upload your video. One to modify your entry if you need to make changes. Another to print a clean copy of the entry form. And a final link to make payments. Now find your entry ID number in the upper left hand corner located just above the category number and category name. You'll need this number to upload. Finally, you'll need the submitter's email address, which you must have to upload your video. Then, click the link to Upload Your Video File to start. This is where we begin. Notice the left-hand column has all the information you might need to answer last-minute questions. Let's start at the top. Terms. Yes, it's a lot of information to read, but it will help prevent problems later. Video uploading instructions, including formats and all the details. This is a list of the valid video formats, plus a step-by-step -step guide to this process, which you can access at any point during the process if you need to. Flash player upgrade. Links for you just in case. Internet speed test to make sure your computer's fast enough. And finally, I am having a problem, so you can send an email to the office. Please note that you can scroll over this red Valid Video Formats to pull up the approved list. Do this now and make sure that your video is compatible. Now to begin filling in the information on this page, refer to your email copy of the entry form. Use the drop-down box to choose the category for your entry. That's the first number, which corresponds to the name of the category. For purposes of this demonstration, we've created a bogus category, which is number 59, sample category. Next is the entry ID number. Looking at your email, choose the number just to the right of the category number. In this case, our entry number is 59-1, so we'll enter the number one in this box. Enter the submitter's email address from the form. It must be the same address so that this video matches the entry form perfectly and the judges will see the correct video. Finally, you must check the Agree to Terms box. The terms are in the Resources column on the left. Read them, then check this box. Now click the Submit button to proceed to the next step. This next page gives you some instructions on the upload process. It's tempting to skip it, but the number one upload problem comes from people not reading the instructions. Don't let this be you. At the bottom of the page is brief information about your entry, the entry ID number, the title of your entry, and the description that you wrote. Is this the video you want to upload? Please make sure. When you're ready, click on Proceed to Upload. This is the page where the uploading occurs. First, select the video file from your computer using the Choose File button here. Double check that the type of file is acceptable, then select Upload. Once you click Upload, the page will change and you'll see the green progress bar to let you know where you are in the upload process. Depending on the file size, this may take a couple minutes. It's okay to leave the computer and come back later, but do not close your browser at this stage or the upload will not go through. This is critical. Once your video has uploaded properly and completely, the page will change and you'll see that your video is now being encoded. Notice the status bar. At first it will read, 
processing. Then it will change to ready. Be patient. When the status bar says ready, then you need to take a look at your video by clicking on the video box on the right. Watch it all the way through. What you see here is what the judges will see. You may enlarge the video screen if you wish. Now, the good news here is that you may close your browser at this point and come back later to watch and approve your video. You've already received an email with the link to this page, so getting back to this page is a piece of cake. After you've watched the video, click the button to approve or disapprove your video. And here's the deal. Your video will not be available to the judges until you officially approve it. So you don't want to skip this step. This is the final step. First, select Approve Video or Reject and Delete Video from the drop-down menu. Again, your video is not officially entered in the competition until you approve it. But once you approve it, it's final. No changes, no redos. You also need to know that after your third attempt at uploading the same video, you'll be locked out of the system. Now, click the Finish button and you're done. There are two additional links for you here. One will take you back to the chapter's main website. The other is a quick link to upload another video if you have more than one entry to process. This concludes our video tutorial. If you have further questions, please contact the office via email or phone.